Hi y'all, welcome to my channel and in today's video I have so many resources and supplements to show you guys to go along with cycle one from classical conversations. But if you are not a part of CC, do not worry, do not click away yet because I have something to show you guys also. So stay tuned. Hey you guys, well if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina and I am a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, seven and under. And on this channel I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in their faith and in this crazy, but amazing <laughs> season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. All right, you guys, well, this video was highly requested by you guys. Y'all wanted to see what I'm going to use for cycle one this year um, for classical conversations. Now, if you are not part of cycle one, don't worry, I still have things for you. I am going to have timestamps down in the description box. So the first part of this video will be focused on specific CC things, but then the next part of the video will be like books and different um, maps and different supplements like that that I'm going to be using that you don't need to be a part of CC in order to use. They are like just normal books you can get from the library or anything like that. Now the subjects that I am going to be covering today are ancient history, biology, earth science, and botany. Um, including some geography in there and even some poetry to go along with that. So like I said, there are going to be timestamps below. I am gonna try to organize these as much as possible so you don't have to see things that you don't necessarily um, really need to see, like the foundations guide for CC and just different things like that. But some things are kind of, they're made for CC, but you don't need to be in CC to use them and to use them well and for them to enrich your homeschool. Um, so those are gonna be kind of, you know, mushed together a little bit. But I am so excited to share all of these things with you. I have so many things, like I can already foresee that this video is going to be a long one, which I mean, isn't unusual for my videos. <laughs> I tend to, you know. I tend to chat a lot. So I'm going to try to get through each of these supplements and resources quickly. And some things like some of the books that I'm going to show you, I actually have flip throughs of them in another video. So when I get to those books, I'm going to um, kind of just show you the books, but then refer you over to the other video. So that way you can look deeper into those books and it won't take up too much of this video's time, if that makes sense. And if you are in CC, you know that we kind of work through six week mini cycles, I guess, throughout the year. You know, for six weeks on, we do something and we're studying a certain part and then six weeks, the next six weeks, it's something else. Not necessarily for history. History just kind of goes chronologically. Um, but for science, we might be studying something for six weeks or fine arts or music, you know, and then it'll go on and so forth. Um, some of these subjects are only for the first six weeks because there's no way, no way on God's great earth that I was going to be able to show you all of the supplements for every single week of cycle one. Um, but there are some books in here that cover the whole year. So there you have it. I don't know if I'm going to do another supplement video um, when the next six weeks begin. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, comment down below and let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. I, I'm not making any promises. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. <laughs> I would love to share it with you guys um, if I can, maybe over on Instagram or something like that. Um, but once the first six weeks gets going, um, then you kind of you kind of know what you use. So I like to plan just like that accordingly. I plan for six weeks, and then you know at the end of those six weeks we have a break, and then I'll plan for the next six weeks, and so on and so forth for the full year. All right, you guys, so like I said, this video is going to be long. So without any further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you what we've got. All right, you guys, so this is what I have to show you today. Just a whole bunch of resources. Some are specific to CC. 
um, the foundations guide, timeline cards, you know, some of those are specific to CC, but a lot of them are not. Like all of these books back here, even this here, what I'm going to show you in here, that's not even specific to CC. Even this book here, you can use it um, outside of CC. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and dive in. I'm going to get started with the things that um, are specific to CC, starting with the foundations guide. Okay, so this foundations guide, if you are going to be doing classical conversations, this is the most important thing that you will need. You can buy it um, on the Classical Conversations um, bookstore. And this will cover everything you need for all three cycles. So it's a one-time purchase. So I bought this three years ago. We are going into our first year. I have not had to purchase a new um, curriculum book and this is everything that you need. And so what I have done is I have gone through and I have tabbed all of the little um, sections that we need. So this first section here is cycle one, you know, this next section is cycle two, and then the next section is cycle three. So sometimes, I mean, it's a pretty thick book. It can be a little bit hard to find some things in here. So I like to go through and tab them. Um, before I was using sticky notes, which worked for three years, you guys. So if you just want to do sticky notes, that's all. That's all you need to do. Um, but I decided this year because I was tutoring, I wanted to make it a little bit easier to get to all of these things um, quickly because I will be using the book while I am tutoring. So um, first thing we have here is cycle one. And this kind of gives you an infographic of everything that you'll be learning in cycle one, which is neat. So um, for instance, 161 events and people, 24 science facts, 24 history sentences, 53 prepositions, that's fun, um, five Latin noun endings, you know, and so on and so forth. And then over here is where they have the entire cycle laid out at a glance, which I love that. And what I have done is I have gone through and broken it up into six weeks so I can see at a glance okay this is what we're doing for art you know for these six weeks and I can just see it um, so when I'm planning I'm not like oh where where are we at again what what, are the, what week are we on you know and all of that I can just see it right there okay this is what I need to plan for this is what I need to plan for you know and so on and so forth so we have that and then it's broken down into the different um, weeks so this is all week one all of our memory work you know, um, day two, no, week two, sorry, week three, so on and so forth. Fourth, the next thing we have here that I did is maps. And this is basically what we're going to be using for geography, this map here, and then the world map over here. We're going to be studying um, a lot of the Middle East. We're going all the way back to creation. <laughs> so a lot of this over here, and then um, all of Africa and then we are going to go into um, China and um, India and you know kind of all of this region right here so yeah so that's kind of the geography that we are going to be studying this year and then for art we're just doing a whole bunch of different things if you are not part of CC let me show you what we have going on for art this year so here we're just this we do every year which I love we learn about the five elements of shapes. We learn about mirror images. This is basically foundations in art. So every artist uses these foundations. So we do this every year. And then oh, we also study the tin whistle and music theory every year. And then, so this is fine arts really. And then we study about artists here. Um, and it goes along with the cycle. So old, old ancient artists here. And then here we're going into um, orchestra and composers down there. So that's what we do every cycle. They're just different based on the cycle. Cycle one is ancient history. Cycle two is medieval times. And cycle three is American history. So it just depends and it keeps going in those cycles. And so these tabs too, they're just like, um, I'll link them down below. They stay really well. I'm not concerned of them coming off, you know, as I'm going through the pages. Um, but they can come off fairly easily. So next year when our cycle switches over and our art changes from cycle one art to cycle two art, I can just move this tab over to cycle two art and do the same thing 
with science. This is our science. So yeah, so that's basically what this book looks like. It gives you everything that you are going to learn. It gives you all the memory work. Now, what you do with this information is completely up to you. You could just do the memory work and nothing else if that's what you want to do. Um, or you could dive deeper into all of those different subjects, which is what we are going to do this year. And so um, what we are using to go along with that is the timeline cards. And these are um, by Classical Conversations. They do highly recommend that you get these, and so do I, because you are going to use these all three cycles, again, just like the book over here. I have had these for four years. I hope to have these for um, <laughs> the length of our time with CC. <laughs> Um, you can also, if you lose a, a card, you can also purchase it individually. I think it's only like a buck, um, so that's super easy to replace. I just found that out, so. <laughs> so it's really good. So these are really good. We sing the timeline song. We go through the timeline song every year. So this is going to be something that's very familiar to your children and to yourself. You will find yourself singing timeline song, you know, throughout the days. <laughs> But I love these cards because it's a good visual aid for the kids. But then also, it has so much information back here, you guys. And what we've done in the past and what I plan to do this year is to take one of these cards and just read it at dinner time every day because my husband will be able to read these out loud. And then we can just talk about it. I mean, the kid, our kids are still little, but even what like last year and two years ago they were able to catch certain things in here on the back of these cards and they were able to ask questions and we could answer those questions and so it was really neat to just see all of that so these timeline cards go through ancient history all the way to modern day history so if you can see it they're broken up they're broken up into ancient world and then you saw in their medieval world these are not in order by the way I, these kind of exploded all over the place so modern world is right here and that is not where that goes <laughs> oh, so um, these kind of exploded but um, this is how I keep the timeline cards I have four of these little binders I got these at Target I believe but they have them at Walmart you can probably get them on Amazon they are small like here is an actual binder size here and see so they're just the smaller size binders and then I know I got the um, sheet protectors from Walmart. I know that for a fact three years ago though. So <laughs> I would look it up online or you know what? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna see if I can link these down below for you guys and see if I can link this size down below for you guys. This is such a great way to keep them stored and then I can just pull them out whenever I need them. And the kids, and this is the reason why it exploded all over the place, but the kids can go through and sing the timeline song and kind of flip through the pages too, which they have done before. Um, but you know, then you take the risk of it getting all messed up, but it's okay. Cause then they can just put it all back together. <laughs> oh, fun little homeschool project for them. <laughs> okay. The next thing that I want to show you guys is this. Now this is actually printed out from CC connected and it is called the sandbox. And it's an easy, which means it's an electronic magazine. So it's basically formatted as a magazine, but you can only get it online. And the reason for that is, so that way you can just print out whatever pages you wanna print out and you don't have to print out the whole thing. Now, I printed out the whole thing just to show you guys and just because I have a fancy new printer. <laughs> And I'll link that down below too. So I printed out this whole thing because I just felt like it was going to be easier to show you everything in it um, with it on paper rather than on the computer. So basically you open it up and here are the contents. It's got week one tips, morning time plans, play 30 minutes a day, names. So this is going to change a little bit. That's just an article, um, writer's circle article, Cultivating curiosity through science, cultivating curiosity through history, drawing at home, yourself and home, another article here, and then printables. The printables are really what I print out every week, and I'll show you those in just a bit. Um, so here are the week one tips, and it tells you just tips to do for the first weeks. And in this week, in community day, this is what you're gonna be doing. And you can find that in the foundations guide, but then here, you have morning time plans 
And here they even give you a suggestion for a hymn study, a scripture to memorize for the week. Um, here's a memory work and you could check off whichever one you want to do for that day. They have a nice list here for you. Here it goes with Ancient World Echoes, which is their book. And I'm going to show you that in just a bit. It tells you what you can read every day. Um, here is a picture study and it has that in here for you guys. Um, and then this is another book by them, Kings of Rome and Exploring Insects. And they tell you what you can read for those different days. So it just kind of lays it out really nicely. Here is the picture. So this is something you might want to print out or you could just put it, post it, you know, on a tablet or whatever. Um, and it gives you kind of the details here. Now, Classical Conversations does have another set of cards, just like the timeline cards that are called Artists and Composers. You can get that. They, they have other science cards also. We have never gotten those. Um, I don't know if I'm going to in the future or not, but people who do have them um, say that they're really really good to have and I keep I keep going back and forth on whether or not to get them <laughs> um, but then over here this is that 30 minutes play every day and they give you an idea to work on your memory work um, so you've got all of those different subjects here and then they give you an idea like ones use silly voices to count by ones or chant the ones times tables, which is easy because it's just counting. Twos, hop on one foot to count by twos or chant the twos times table. Um, English, clap rhythmically to chant the definition of a preposition. Like this is just so good, you guys. And you can use this to do your memory work if you want to. And even if you're a tutor, you can use this to do the new grammar in community day. So that's really good. Here is strengthen your core, and it's just talking about the five core values. So the naming, attending, memorization, expressing, and storytelling. So it's just kind of going through that a little bit with the um, memory work. Um, this is a, if you're wanting to be a memory master, or if you're wanting a kid, or your kid actually is wanting to be a memory master, then you can um, use that. That'll help you a little bit. And so this will show you how to do the five core habits um, with picture study, science, presentations, history, and read alouds. It'll show you how to use that, you guys, which is amazing because I'm kind of like, how do I, what does that mean, five core habits, you know? <laughs> so it'll show you step-by-step step, how to ask questions to your kids. Um, this is an article by Clara McCollin, um, starting slow. So you have those, you have the different articles in here. Cultivating curiosity through science. So here, this is neat. You actually have a science activity that you can do. Um, and then here's the reference to the science fact cards and then exploring related topics. And then draw and craft, this is neat. They actually give you recommendations. So this is like Art for Kids Hub, how to draw a plant and folding surprise. So that's really neat. And, and because it's electronic, you can actually just click the link on the document um, and then down here drawing animals with shapes and they give you the link for that one also so that's really neat to do for like your your drawing time your art time then cultivating curiosity through history here's a sensory activity and actually I'm sorry no it didn't have a sensory activity there but here is a sensory activity for that and that's good for your littles and then here's a history activity and this will correlate the weeks with um, the story of the world. So it'll tell you what to use, when to use it. So chapter one, the earliest people, and chapter two, Egyptians lived on the Nile River. That's what you would read. Guys, this is amazing. This is amazing. Like they pretty much give you everything that you want. Drawing with children, that's a book um, at home. And you can do this. And again, naming. Uh, the five core habits and all of that. Now this is oils. We go through this the first week in community day. Kind of tells you how to work with that at home. Here is a recommended podcast for the week. Um, and CC has a podcast and I always go through these every week and it's so good. It, now this book is another book I would highly recommend. It's The Core by Lee Bortons. Lee Bortons is the founder of CC. Um, I'm going through it right now and it's it really is good. It really is good it's just telling you why CC was started. It tells you a little bit about the classical model and how the classical model works and all of that. So it's really good. Um, here's another article, Getting Organized. First quarter books. 
So it's kind of just showing you how to get organized with your books. Now, printables. So printables. So these are the credits for all of the printables that are gonna be in the next few pages. If you are part of CC Connected, you know that the usernames are a big deal on um, like how to find all of these printables. And so it gives credit to all of the people who um, helped out with these printables. And so now we're getting to the, the part where I would print out most. And this is why it's probably good that they did not make this um, a physical copy, but more a digital copy, because you probably are not gonna wanna print out all of this, um, or even use all of this. So let's get into the printable. So the first week here, we are learning about the first five commandments. So this is something you could just hang up. Over here is a history sentence printable, um, so they can go in and fill it out, or actually, they can cut it out and paste it. Cutting and pasting, y'all, is my jam. I love cutting and pasting. I mean, my kids love cutting and pasting, right? <laughs> Here's a history sentence on um, week one. Tell me about commandments one through five. And then hint, you can draw a picture of Moses when God gave him the commandment. So they can like fill this out, but then also draw a picture up here. So that's really good. Um, this is for a little bit older kids. We've never done this part because my kids don't write very well yet. And by that I mean they don't actually physically write words very well yet. Um, so this is just history research you can go through um, with your older kids and do some history research. Here we have a Latin chart. So we've got some charts here. Here, another chart here. Oh, this is Latin chart weeks 1 through 12. Okay, I'm not really sure how to use that, but it looks it looks exciting. <laughs> Latin week one, we've got a word search here. That's gonna be fun. My kids are just getting into word searches. Um, why with Miss Wizzle? I've never um, seen this before, but it looks like it would be fun to look up. <laughs> here we've got, what are the classifications of living things? It's a nice little chart to have. Another word search here for science. So they would look up, you know, domain, kingdom, phylum, class, so on and so forth. Here's prepositions. So what is a preposition? And they would just write the memory sentence there. Um, just different things here. A lot of these English ones, we use them, but it just depends if my children are going to be able to do these or not. I mean, it would be worth it just for them to write um, the preposition or what is a preposition over and over, you know, here is geography and what you can do with these is you can go in and actually color it. So I will color it first and then I'll make copies of that so that they can go in and color it with their crayon and, you know, color in the Mediterranean Sea and Mesopotamia and all of that. And this is really neat. This is kind of new that they didn't have last year, but they can actually circle or draw a box on the globe where the map is located. So they would just kind of draw a little box right here. So then they can see, okay, where does this, I can see this right here, but where does that fit into the rest of the world? So that's really good. Here are timelines. Oh, okay, so this is an example of what you would do. So this is the actual fill in worksheet. This is an example of what you would do. Um, so you would write in all of the different things. Again, this is a little bit older. Um, my kids might not do it. Before they had um, a cut and paste one, I might go through and look for that one again on CC Connected because that one was really good. Here we've got timeline grammar and it's actually making a timeline of them. So they would go through and answer all of these questions about themselves like this, like Jenna's timeline. So that would be like their timeline. Um, I think these are just kind of instructions for that too. Yeah, so you can go in and write your own timeline. And then timeline grammar, grammar review time. Um, they can go and so like BC, what does that mean? Before Christ, AD, what does that mean? You know, so they can go through and um, match those up. Oh, that's our answer sheet. So I printed these out front and back, but if you were to print this out, you'd probably just print it out, you know, just one-sided, and that's probably what I will do, just print it out one-sided, and then they can go through and match it, and then I'll just have this online if I need it. Um, timeline, date, and match, so that's neat, so they can match up all of the different dates. And so this is the math section. 
So here we've got all of the math little worksheets they could go through and practice. So two, four, six, eight, ten, so on and so forth. We do as much of it as you can. Here's another math math worksheet here. Go through and just write it. The ones and the twos. Skip counting. So you cut out the pennies and then you put in how many pennies it'll take to buy these books. And then here is kind of the same thing down below. They cut out these numbers and then they will paste them two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on and so forth. This is tracing and the um, dot to dot. Again, tracing dot to dot. So you could see these are different levels. So this would be kind of for older kids because at some point, I can't remember what grade it is, they do have to know it's not just skip counting by twos, but it means that two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, and so on. Um, here are some other blank sheets, and then here are these circle wheel things. There's blank ones for you guys. Here is um, Fine Arts Journal Intro to Drawing and Five Elements of Shape. So there was something else. Okay, so this is the instructions for it. And those are the oils. And then here is a little worksheet. So it says to fill the continents and oils isn't like the oil pastels it's the um o stands for circles that are not filled in i stands for dots and lines l stands for angles and s stands for curves so for north america it says circles your child would go in and draw circles in all of north america for africa it's curves so they'd go in and draw curves in all of africa so that's kind of fun I thought that was a neat way to get in geography also. Okay, and so this next section is for the Ancient World Echoes book. So as you're reading, your children have things that they could be doing. So they have coloring pages. Here's a coloring pages for like that first story. Here's a coloring page for the second story that you'll be reading. Here are some tanagrams that they can color and then cut out to make this shape. And that's neat. Here's a little fun mask that they can do. You probably want to print that out in cardstock or on cardstock. Here is a dot to dot. Oh, this is probably like the slipper, right? Rhodopis's slipper. Or I'm not sure. I'm not sure which story is coming up. Here's a fun maze that they could be doing as you are reading those read alouds. Some stuff for older kids. These are just. Um, probably don't want to do that during a read aloud. I think that causes too much thought. <laughs> Here's how to draw a pharaoh. So it takes you step by step on how to draw a pharaoh. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, and then it gives you the page that you can use to do that. Oh, and then here are the answers for us mamas that maybe might not know the answer completely. <laughs> Oh, and then they actually also have one for Kings of Rome and for um, the bug one, insects, Uncle Paul's insects or something like that. And then week one drawing lesson, and you saw that a little bit earlier in the, in the magazine. So yeah, you guys, so this is the sandbox. I just, I was waiting to film this video so I can show you this specifically. It is so worth it go on CC Connected. You have to be a member of CC Connected. I believe it's either $6 a month or $15 a quarter. I don't know. I've heard both, <laughs> but I'm just like, take my money. I want this. <laughs> so they have one of these for every week, you guys, every week, every week for cycle one. They have them all uploaded already. So you can go through and see what you want and print it out and be all ready to go. That is so worth it. And now the way that I am going to be organizing all of those different um, pages and stuff as we do our memory work, by the way, we're doing this during our symposium time or memory, I'm um, sorry, morning box, nope, morning thing, basket <laughs> time. Um, but the way that I'm doing that is each of my kids has a folder and each of the folders has this little pouch where they have everything they need. They have a pencil, a dry erase marker, scissors and glue. 
And then this first thing here is books of the Bible and that I use, that's not CC related. We study the books of the Bible um, and we use cards from the Daily Grace Co. to do that. And I created these sheets just so they can draw a picture and write the um, book of the Bible. And this is what we are using for geography. I'm going to have them just trace it with a dry erase marker or circle it or something every day. And this, I copied it, as you can tell, I copied it straight from the foundations guide. And this is what I settled on that we are going to be using. It's free. <laughs> well, free if you have the foundations guide. Um, and then the next thing I have the different tabs. So here I have um, Ancient World Echoes, which is the book, math, history and timeline, English, and then extra paper. So all of their ancient world echoes, um, activity sheets that I pass out, they can be put in here afterwards. All of their math sheets can be put in there, so on and so forth. And then I have extra lined paper here. So that way they have extra paper if they need it. Um, we always need extra paper. And then I have a folder for each of them. So that way if we have kind of random little things, like if we do this, the art projects or different things like that, I can have them just stick them in here. And yeah, and these binders I got from Target. I love these binders. They have the dual pockets. So you've got one pocket here, another pocket here. So this is, and they both go all the way down. So this is how we keep track of all of those worksheets and different fun activities that are in here. We keep them all in here. The next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is I did get these geography placemats, um, but I don't think I'm going to use them. And one of the reasons is they're just a little bit confusing up here for me. Um, and so I don't know if they'll be confusing for the kids, but it's also just another thing that I would have to pull out, whereas they can just open this and have it there with them all the time. Um, so I think I might take these back. This is a set of four. Um, I might just take these back. I, I don't know if we are going to use those, but I wanted to show it, them to you. Another thing we're probably going to use every once in a while for our geography is this scrunchy map. And it's a map that scrunches. Ah! I got this our very first year and it has um, stood the test of time with five little ones, you guys. So it's really good. It's a world map. I'll link it down below. You can get it on Amazon and it's just so good. I'll set it out on the floor and have them just like point out what part of the world it is and what all the geography that we're doing. They also have a United States map like this if you are interested in that. This next thing here, you guys, is gold. Is gold. Just like the sandbox. It's gold. So this is cycle one planning and this is from half a hundred acre wood.com and I bought this. So this is 10 bucks on her site. She does have all of this information online for free, but um, it's on her different blogs and they're not very, um, they're not very good to print out. I tried doing that and it was just too much. And so I just bought it for 10 bucks and then just printed it out in one shot. It was so good. This kind of helps you with um, memory work review schedule. So week one, you know, this is the memory work. Week two, this will be the memory work. It's kind of different than what is on the sandbox. So you can decide what you want to do with that. Here, you've got everything that correlates with story of the world, mystery of history, and everything you need to know about science homework, it seems like. And here are the different timeline cards that you use every week or that um, correlate with the weeks. And then here is everything you need to know about world history homework, I think is what it says. They all say, it says it all up there. And so, yes, so that's all wonderful. Now this is where it's at y'all. I want to saturate our homeschool in books this year. Good, good, rich books. And so the, this is a book list y'all. This is a book list. So favorite CC one picture books. So this one is specifically picture books. So what I did, we have a base library here that we can use. We also have a county library. And then I also have this category where I, we've either already read it or we have it. And so I went through and I highlighted them. I went to um, the library to look and see what we have in the library, what I can get. Um, these are all the ones that I still am not sure about, but so I went through that all the way up to um, week six and then the next six weeks I'll do that later. And so those are picture books. Here is a book list for the who was, what was, and where was books, you guys. A book list to go with every week. Oh. Here is a cycle one read aloud book list for every week. 
and then Magic Tree and Imagination Station book, with, book list to go through every week. World History book list. Oh, you guys, this is what I'm saying. Like, I haven't even gotten to this. This is gold. Gold. Like, all the book lists that you, all the books that you ever wanted to know that went along with CC. And then here is kind of an overall list. So then you've got history topic. This is what you're learning. Okay, this is all of them. Book lists and readers. And then here's longer picture books and readers and read alouds. Those are all, let's see, here we've got um, the same thing, history topics. So this is weeks one and two. So you guys, if you are ever looking for readers or books, look at all of this. Look at all of this. It's like every book ever known to man. Probably not, but almost. <laughs> so oh, I will leave this link down below. It's worth just spending the $10 to print it all out, you guys, because it was a real hassle and it just took forever to print out from her blog because she's got pictures on there too, which is nice. So do go to her blog because then you can see pictures of all the books, which is great. Um, but to just it was just cumbersome to print out. So I will leave this link down below. Another thing that we use a lot for our memory work is the CC app. Now they have one for every cycle and it has all of the memory work on this app and it goes either by week or by subject. Three, four, five, six. If you swipe up, it'll go um, by week. So you can just keep swiping up and it'll show you the memory work for that week in all of the different subjects. It also has a menu where you can go to that specific subject if you want to, or you can go to the specific week that you want. And now if you swipe left, then it'll stay on that same subject. So this one is staying on math, but it's going to the different weeks. So this is very versatile. This is very flexible. It's very easy to use. Um, and we use this either at a meal or this year I'm going to use it for symposium um, or our morning basket time. And so we love using this app. It's just so easy and I love that we're able to listen to all of the different songs that CC provides. These are the words of my God. You just buy it for the cycle and then if for some reason they update curriculum, then the app automatically updates. So it is a one-time purchase books yes so speaking of books oh let's get into these puppies <laughs> okay the first ones that i'm going to show you here are the usborne books i do have another video about these usborne books i don't have all of these on the other video so i will flip through the ones that i don't have in the other video but these are the ones specifically for cycle one or for all of the cycles so let's go ahead and start with the one here on top so what are clouds we do do weather later on this is a lift the flat book this is specifically for i think the last few weeks of this cycle um, this is perfect for your younger younger child because it is the very first question and answers book this is an usborne reader it's a trojan horse We'll be learning that pretty early on. I think it's like week four or five. Here's another one, Wild Weather. Oh, and this is another Lift the Flap. The, um, the cover got me, you guys. The cover got me real good. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, tornadoes. So this is really good. Again, we're covering weather um, towards the end of the cycle. What makes rain? Another weather one. These are lift the flap. So this one is a first questions and answers. So this one is a little bit older, has a little bit more flaps, a little bit more information, um, a little bit more random papers. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so this one is really good. What makes rain? Um, and actually, I don't know if I actually flipped through this one before. I think maybe I did not. I think this was an older one that we've had, honestly, I don't remember. Um, 
but yeah this one is so good all of these question and answers books are just so good here's this one how do flowers grow and seeds we will be learning about seeds and pollination and all kinds of botany things um, during the first six weeks I believe again these are um, lift the flap books and that was a new flap <laughs> so that, those are definitely new now this one we've had for a while we got this one our very first year and this is a wonderful one we're gonna learn about earth science so look at this look at this flap and it just keeps going it keeps going you guys it keeps going it's so good and just talks um, about the core and the mantle, the um, outer mantle, and the inner mantle. Here are all the contents. Um, running rivers, fascinating forests, water. We will be talking about the water cycle, dry world, so deserts. And it's got just, oh, it's just so good. So running rivers. We went through this so much, you guys, so much um, during um, cycle one. It was just so good. Look at this, boom, flaps within flaps, y'all. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I love this one. This one's one of my favorites. They have different ones about the world, but this one is my absolute favorite. Now this one we actually got at, um, at Book Outlet. I don't know if um, it's still available on Usborne, but go check out Book Outlet. This is kind of like a peek through, right? Oh, Step Inside. Step Inside, Ancient Egypt. And they have a few of these. I believe I saw another one that was like Rome. So look, it's got some flaps in here. This is definitely not like it's more paper than cardboard like the other ones, but you can peek through these. Um, my little girl loved this one and she keeps reading this one. It's just got so much good information in here and it's just a fun, it's just a fun book. This next one is Encyclopedia of the Ancient World. We also have Encyclopedia of the World, um, but the contents, so you've got early civilization, you've got Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, early Greece, Classical Greece, you've got so many things, the Roman Empire, Macedonia, so you've got so much in here, and then you've got internet links throughout the book. This is filled, you guys, filled with information. This is such a good book to reference, and even just have it as a read aloud, I can probably go through and sit down, read one page to the kids, and then we can just talk about it. Ask, they can ask questions. They can look at the pictures. Guys, these are so good. And they have internet links so you can go through and watch videos or just different things like that. To kind of the same thing is our children's encyclop encyclopedia. They also have a children's science encyclopedia, which we have. Um, but again, it's just kind of the same thing. But this is not just history and it's not just science. It's a little bit of everything. You've got history, science, botany, um, animals. You've got just a little bit of everything in this one. And so this one's really good to have too. Here's another one, my very first um, Our World book. So this one is not Lift the Flaps. It doesn't have as much information, but it still has very good information. This is a perfect read aloud for your kids because it doesn't take as long as the Lift the Flaps book sh books do. So it's almost like a picture book, but it's a non-fiction picture book. And so it was, it'd was it be really, really good. So yeah, so this one is really good. Again, if you've got the younger ones that maybe you don't really trust them with the flaps, <laughs> this one is so good. Another one that we really love that they don't carry this anymore. You could probably find it like on thrift books or something like that, but this is a Lift the Flap. Um, picture atlas and look at this you guys we learn about this also in cc um, all of the different landscapes and the different biomes they're all right there and then here it kind of goes through oops just different parts of the world and then you've got one page here's north america so you've got one page for every continent and you've got all of these 
flaps that you can go through. Guys, one page in this can be such a long time. <laughs> So you've got like this for cycle two, you could just focus on that. This you can do like, let's lift, you got three flaps, let's sit down and each one can lift, each kid can lift one flap and we'll talk about that. So it's just a fun way to do that. Oh, I just love this one. This is another one that can go with all cycles. It's the question and answers music. I did flip through this one more in that other video. This is my favorite part, you guys. This is my favorite part. Where you open it up and you can see where everybody sits. What? Ah, it's so good, so fun. Now this is another one that I have, I have done a video on this one before or a video has this book in there before. Um, but yes, yeah, so this one is just basically, what is art, you know, why do we have art and um, where did art come from? You know, basically just answering the questions, you know, where and when. Um, answering like the basic questions. Who? So this is really good. Again, a good read aloud. Um, probably not going to finish it in one sitting, but very good read aloud. Here we've got Lift the Flat Biology. And this one is, again, these all of these are just such good information. Now, when you get into science, and books that are not necessarily Christian, you are going to have mention of evolution in here. You are going to have just different things like that. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so beautiful. <laughs> um, and the way that we do that in our home is that I we teach them. You know, we believe that God created everything. And um, why do we believe that? Well, the Bible says so. And so we teach them that the Bible pretty much trumps anything else that... Um, are in any of the science books because science has proven to um, not be accurate <laughs> some of the time um, throughout history, but the Bible has proven over and over again that it is true. And so whenever they do see something that doesn't really fit with what the Bible says, then, you know, we let them know. So then what do we believe though? We believe that God created heaven and earth and whether you believe that it was through evolution or whether you believe that was through creation. Um, we specifically believe that it was through creation, but we also believe that um, that's not a salvation issue. <laughs> so um, we teach them that this is what we believe. And so that way they learn how to discern um, information and they know that they can read books, um, but know that you know what, not everything in this book is is fact, you know, not everything in this book, not necessarily only this book, but any of the other books that might not be true, you know, just always have to go back to scripture and see what the Lord says about that. And then the last Usborne book I've got for you here is Timelines of the World. This one is so neat, you guys. So this basically goes through and it tells you, so in 15, sorry, 1350, what was going on in Southern and Western Europe. It's got this whole thing, but then it also tells you, hmm, also what was going on in Northern and Eastern Europe at the same time? Hmm. And what was going on in Africa and the Middle East and Asia and, Amer and the Americas? So he goes through and it tells you so you can go and compare all of the different um, areas of the world and what exactly was happening in all of the areas of the world. When the Egyptians were around, what was happening in the Americas and, you know, in Asia? So that's so neat, you guys. This is one that goes with every cycle. It's so good. Okay, you guys, we're down to our last stack of books. <laughs> okay, so these are so good. And again, just like the Esborn books, you do not have to be in CC in order to use these books, you guys. They're just so, so good and so full of information. I also, at the end here, if you stay till the end, I can show you where I got these for a really, 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 really cheap price. <laughs> so the first one here is made by CC. Um, but you don't need to be in CC in order to do it. Now it does correlate with our CC weeks. It's not part of the memory work though. So for instance, you go here and it does say um, week one 
and it's got a story from Africa. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> and the wise gazelle. Um, but it's a read aloud. So you go through and you can read it as they're, they are coloring those pictures that I showed you before. Sometimes these will be longer ones, kind of like this one. And sometimes it'll be shorter ones. So Rhodopis, Rhodopis, I don't know how to say that, Rhodopis or Rhodopis, and her little gilded sandals, you guys, there is a picture book called The Egyptian Cinderella that we just got from the library and we just had to take it back so it's not in this, but it's definitely one of the um, one of the books to read. So that's a little bit shorter one that I could probably get done in 15 minutes. Um, and then this one is still part of week one and it's at one of Aesop's fables. You see how short that one was? And then the next thing is week two, The Hare and the Lion. So yeah, so it's got all of this literature and I love it because these are classic literature pieces, you guys, that I don't have to go through and look up. It is all there for me. I just pull it out and read it. And you guys, at first I was kind of like, last year when I used this, I was like, I don't know if my kids are gonna like these stories. You know, they're kind of old. <laughs> but you guys, Abigail actually applauded one time when I finished one of the stories. She applauded. Like, and she was like, wow, that was so good, Mama. <laughs> so you guys, this is so good. The kids can take a lot more than we think they can. The next thing I have here is this Nature Anatomy. This goes really well with Cycle 1. It has a lot of botany in here, and then the animals. Um, it talks about them. <laughs> um, it's got weather. It's just so much goodness. Look, there's the weather. Trees, we talk about that. Ugh, it's just so good, guys. Nature Anatomy by Julie Rothman. So good. Now, this is kind of a fun find uh, that I found at Barnes & Noble, and it was at a discount, so it was a um, $10 book deal. It talks all about Rome. But the fun thing about this is over here at the end, you've got little landmarks here, and then you've got a map of Rome. I'm not gonna pull this out because once that comes out, who knows how it's gonna go back in. But that is so neat. Let's see if it like, yeah, it's got a picture in the back here. Look at that, guys. And they can go put landmarks on ancient Rome, or actually, I think it's modern day Rome. But still, still, like how cool. How cool is that? Like the Colosseum, a lot of modern day Rome was actually in the ancient times. So, <laughs> so it's so cool. I found that Barnes and Noble. I will try to find it linked down below. They have a few different ones, but this is the one that worked for um, this subject. I think they had one on Paris and just different things like that. Um, this goes with math for all cycles. And this is so good. It's a picture book and talks about circumference and Lady Di, and what is their little child called? <laughs> uh, Radius, right? Radius is the child. Oh my gosh, it is so good, you guys. We read it in one sitting and they loved it. And I actually know the difference between a diameter and a radius because of this book. Yeah, 39 years old, y'all, 39. <laughs> oh, this was another really good find from the book outlet. This is, I just looked up Ancient Egypt and on Book Outlet and it gave me a whole bunch of different books. This is a an activity book and my daughter has gone through, as you can see, she has gone through this, but she has read so much. It's got so much good information in here, y'all. She even did this little Mad Lib thing. Oh my goodness. And they have projects project ideas that you can do. So uh, weaving papyrus, that's actually really good. I want to do that. Um, talks about the flooding of the Nile River. Um, talks about, you know, how they used to brush their teeth. Um, and it has a recipe. Oh, she keeps begging me to do this. The date candy. <laughs> I'm like, where am I gonna get dates? <laughs> oh, I could probably find dates. Um, okay, and so it's just got a whole bunch of good things. And then it's got stickers. So it's got stickers on the back. It's got this. It is a punch out of King Tut's burial mask. I actually went and made copies of this. 
on cardstock and cut it out for all of my kids. So we all have one of these. So that's good that I can just do that instead of having to buy four different books. Here is something else that you can do the same thing with where you can uh, build your own pyramid. And so yeah, you guys, this book was such a good find. I was just like, wow, this is really, really good. And it was like two bucks or something like that on Book Outlet. So I'll try to find it and link it down below. All right, you guys, these next two books, again, activity books. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got these at Costco. So if you have not gone to Costco and looked up, look at, looked at their books section, um, especially around this time of year, the beginning of the school year, you guys go do it, go do it. Find somebody that has a Costco card if you don't and beg them to take you to Costco because it is so worth it. So look at all of this. So it's got a whole bunch of stuff on science. So it's got planet earth, it's got rocks and minerals, seven wonders of the world, which do include the ancient wonders. Um, volcanoes and bees and then here it's got some dinosaur stuff and so here it covers human body bugs volcanoes dinosaur sharks space earth megastructures science planets diggers oceans combat aircraft oh that's interesting rocks and minerals which we will be doing that in cycle one seven wonders of the world um, Atlas, Bees, and then Saving Planet Earth. And you guys, these are so good. So they have stickers in the back and you correlate them with, you know, you match them up. And it's got all of this information. So this is good. We just actually did the human body last year. So if you're doing the human body, this is really good. Also, you know, it's always good to learn about what's inside your body. <laughs> volcanoes, we are gonna be learning about volcanoes and earthquake and geology this year. <sighs> Look at all of this. Okay, so it's got all of this. Rocks and minerals. So it is an activity book and it's got a lot of information. Here are planets. You guys, when I was going through this, I kind of just bought these real quick because we got to Costco and it was like 10 minutes until closing and I just buy all the books, you know? <laughs> I'll look through them later. Um, but when I got home, I looked at this and I was like, oh my goodness. This is so good. I didn't even see that combat stuff. So mountains, that's another thing, volcanoes, ah, oh, sticker activities. Um, and then it's got, you know, even geography in here, you guys. You guys, go get this book right now. Go get it. <laughs> go get it. Oh my gosh. But then at the back, so they've got all these stickers, you know, obviously. They've got all these stickers. And then, let me see. And then they've got a flip out back here of all the rocks and minerals, which is amazing. We are definitely going to be doing that this year. Okay, so there's that one. That one was covering a whole bunch of different things. This next one is science specific. And guys, I like, so here's biology, obviously, so good. Here's a little like sticker uh, background that you can use. I think that's for dinosaurs. Um, but it's got in here geography, biology, then chemistry and physics. That's cycle three, I think. Um, electricity. I don't know if we go through that this year. I can't remember. Energy. But it's got geology, botany, all of that. Oh, and I forgot to show you this, guys. But I forgot to show you this, you guys, on this other one. It's got the seven wonders of the world. But it's also like the seven wonders of the ancient world. So you've got ancient world, you got seven wonders of the ancient world here. Let's see. Then you got seven wonders of the architecture, seven wonders of the natural world, seven wonders of the underwater world. You guys, this is so good. And the modern world. And then other wonders. <sighs> and then an atlas. Of course, an atlas sticker book. What? Ah! Okay. And so this one over here, so you've got a whole bunch of stuff, kind of the same things, you know, you've got, oh, it's a whole section of word searches, that's right. So a whole section of word searches, which is nice, because my daughter is just now getting into all of that. Um, you got magnetism. Okay, so this book is, again, super good, has a lot of different activities in it. The good thing about this book, though, look at this, you guys, look at this. 
it's got two full posters in here. Let me see if I can open this up. Look at that, you guys. Full on, like, so this one is specifically about electricity, but then for us, for cycle one, you've got biology in here. And it's got like the cell. So we learn about the cell of an animal and the cell of a plant. And it's got all of that in here, you guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is not something I would necessarily hang up because I don't like lots of busy things on the walls. Um, but just to have that and to be able to read it with everybody. Oh, like th these cost money, you guys. Let's see how much. Oh, let's see what's back here. Another little um, habitat for the dinosaurs. So this book was how much? Ten dollars. Ten bucks. And that'll be this book. Like I said, we're not going to go through this all in a year. We're not going to go through both of these in a year. These will last us for a few different cycles. Oh man, everything's going to be everything's going to fall over, you guys. All right, we are almost done. We are almost done. Next thing I have here is draw africa so this these are really good all these draw books so it teaches you step by step we use this the first cycle and we're going to use it again um, the first time we went through the cycle and we're going to use it again this time so it teaches you step by step how to draw africa and it's got little instructions down here which i love so malawi is next uh, Malawi is thin and long. It looks like a cut on the continent of Africa. Malawi, the Awi. <laughs> Malawi, so right here, like a cut Awi. Isn't that neat? So it kind of gives you little things to um, remember them by. So I really love these books. We have a few different ones of these books and um, I can't wait to do the Africa one all over again. Here is another one of um classical music we bought this one last year and this just kind of explains the different sections of the orchestra so you've got the woodwinds the strings the brass and the percussion so it just goes through and explains that it's a very good picture book for that here we've got another atlas this is an atlas of the ancient worlds and i actually got this at our local library i am probably going to purchase it um it is just so good it goes perfectly with our um, memory work. So let's see. So it's got Sumer, Egypt, Indus River Valley, um, Europe, uh, Minoans and Mycenaeans, <laughs> Canaan, um, the Phoenicians, all of that, guys. It's got everything. So it's an atlas of all of that. Look how much information is in there. And it tells you where the people groups were, clues to the past. Here's Sumer. Here we've got Egypt, long, lower and upper Egypt. Nice. So this is gonna be really good. And this is one like every week we'll go through and just pick a few things that will help us just learn a little bit more and dive deep a little bit deeper into our memory work sentences. Here is another one. Guys, my books are like falling apart over there. Or not falling apart, but they... <laughs> oh, I might have this as a little project for my kids to clean up. <laughs> and then another book here, A Child Through Time. We've already used this for our ancient Egypt study. Um, but see here, we've got early civilizations. So the Ice Age in this valley, um, Egyptian and Tutankhamun, he was a child. And so it just goes through... So here's Taya, this is an ice age, and it gives you different information about that. Um, here is Amala, this is the Indus Valley, it gives you what it was like for a child to live during those time periods, toys through time, oh that's fun. This is the one that we read, this was so fun, I just sat with the kids and this was our book for the day, and we just read all of this different information, and we went through and we found uh, Maincott, I'm not sure how to say his name, but we went through and we found him in there. We talked about why his head is shaved, why doesn't he have a hair growing there, you know, like they did in the other books. Tutankhamun, um, and then it goes through the classical age and stuff like that. But this one will work for um, all three cycles or all of history. <laughs> and then you guys, 
here we go. If you have made it through the um, whole video, <laughs> then here is your reward. Costco. Costco. Look, they have both of them. Animalium and Botanicum Deluxe 2 Box Set. Plus, it contains art prints. Eight art prints in here, you guys. And guess how much I got this for? Guess how much? It was about $25. That's it. And it's got both books. So you've got Botanicum. The only thing is that it's not hard hardcover. Um, if you go and you buy the book for $30, $40, you're gonna get a hardcover book. But but it is very, very good quality. And for what we're gonna be using it for, it is just fine. Look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have been wanting these books since the very beginning of my homeschooling journey. Like, oh, I've just seen those and I just fell in love with them. And here is Animalium. So it goes through, talks about all the different types, species, and look at those, look at those um, illustrations. That's the illustrations alone are just pieces of art. And they know it because... They also give you in here eight prints. So these are huge. These are the size of the book. So it's just like if you were to cut these right out of the book. So you have these prints here. Oh my goodness. This is so good. I love this one. This one's so good. Now you can buy these prints separately, but I think it's they're like ten or fifteen dollars on Amazon. The books themselves are between $30 and $40, so you guys, this is like a $70 value that I got for $25. Bucks. So good, look at all of this. This is my favorite, I think. I really do love that one. So good, I think that was the last one. Yep, so you guys, this is what we got. Whew. So go to Costco, go to Costco, just turn off this video now and go to Costco. I could not find this online. Hopefully you will be able to find these at your local Costco. Oh, it is so good. All right, you guys, we are done. We're done. Y'all are troopers. Thank you so much for looking at all of this stuff with me. All right, you guys, so that was it. That's what I have for cycle one from classical conversations, or like I said, if you're not doing cycle one, you can still use a lot of these supplements. I will have everything that I can link down in the description box below, so go check it out and see if you can find the thing that you want to. If you don't find something specifically, then just DM me on Instagram or just comment down below and let me know. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up. And also, let's be friends. Follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. All right, you guys, well, I hope that you are having a blessed day and I will see you next time with another video. Bye. Am I crooked? Oh. So stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. My right hand doesn't know what my left hand is doing. <laughs> Hi y'all. <laughs> so many resources and stuff. Re Ugh. One. No, why can I not say that right? <laughs> when does anything I say make sense? <laughs> Sorry, thought I had a bug on me. <laughs> That'll do.